Hi everyone, my name is Margarita, also known as Margarita Vox on all social media platforms, and welcome back to another episode of Photoshop Icebreakers. Today we're going to be diving in the amazing world of animating in Photoshop, so let's jump right into it. To start off, I'll show you how to make this. First of all, we're going to create a new file. Next up, we're going to go to Window and click on Timeline. We're going to click on this little arrow and select Create Frame Animation. So firstly, I like to work in the Layers panel. Just click on the plus sign to create a new layer. And then I'll just press B on my keyboard or just click right here to get your brush tool. And we're going to make a little sun. We're going to draw a little circle. And that's it for our first layer. Click on the plus sign and we're going to remake the circle and just start adding little baby rays. I'm going to leave the layer underneath it always visible so that I can reference it when I'm drawing new stuff. So I'm just going to click on the plus sign again. Now I can deselect visibility on the first one we made and I'm going to remake this circle. It's okay if it's a little different, we get that hand drawn feel. And now we're going to make our sun rays a little longer, kind of keeping it in the same spot, but stretching them out. And you can keep going and adding as many as you want. So what we want to do now that we have all of our layers, you can just go and click on these three little lines and select make frames from layers. Now what you'll see is that it gave us the animation we wanted, but without the background so we're just gonna select and hold shift to select all of our layers and just click on the visibility icon right here to make the background visible on all of our layers you can just press the space bar to view your animation now it's as simple as that now let's move on to something a tiny bit more complicated but still pretty easy once you understand the basic concept of it so we have this really cool background and i want to change its colors i just want to do it in photoshop so what you can do is just go to the adjustments and we're going to select hue and saturation i'll go uh, all the way to negative 180 for the hue i'm going to duplicate my hue and saturation I can do that by pressing Command J on Mac. Just go down 20, so negative 160. And you can repeat this every time you duplicate your layer. You just up by 20. Once we have all our layers, just click on the three lines over here. Make frames from layers. Same thing as earlier. We're going to select all our adjustment layers that are now frames. Scroll all the way down and turn the visibility on for our background. Play it back and we have a pretty cool looping color animation. Another awesome thing that you can do with these, I'm going to just create two hue and saturation adjustments. I'm going to place one at zero and one at negative 180. Now I'm going to click on the plus sign. So my second frame is going to have my second hue and saturation adjustment and the first frame is going to have the first one. What we can do now is just click on this little icon and you can tell it to fill in whatever is in between the two frames you made. So let's say I want to add 10 frames in between our first and our second and it will basically make our transition gradual. You get something like this. Pretty interesting too. Now you can play around with it. There's so many ways you can go crazy and experiment with this. This time, instead of creating a frame animation, we are going to create a video timeline. And as you can see, now we kind of have a timeline as if we're in any video editing platform and it works in a really similar way. So let's say we have some text. You can just click on this little arrow and here are all the properties you can animate. So let's say we want to animate the transform. We want our text from tiny. Just click on the stopwatch for the transform. Let's go to two seconds. Command T and make your text really big. And as you can see, it added another frame over here for the animation. And if you go and watch it back, pretty neat. What you can also animate is the style, which is really cool and you can do some amazing stuff in here. So just click on the stopwatch for the style. Now you can just double click on your layer and add, a, let's add a bevel and emboss. This looks cool. We can also remove the fill 
so that we get this pretty plasticky effect. And as you can see, we have the layer style keyframe over here. Let's go all the way over to five seconds. Double click on the bubble and emboss effect again. And we are gonna change the angle of the light. Press okay. And another keyframe appeared. So now let's play it all back with the spacebar and you get a pretty cool text animation. Thank you so much for joining me in this new episode of Photoshop Icebreakers. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and have learned a bunch of new stuff. So happy animating to everyone and I'll see you guys soon.